beyond the DM, but the DM itself, you know, it's one thing to be nasty and abusive in public and to, you know, even if you're anonymous, at least you're putting yourself out there. And to send me an abusive DM, I mean, I will, I will often publicize these emails and DMs in order to provide a disincentive. As a general rule, I, can, I, I understand that it's part and parcel of the, of the game. People who are cowardly will do this kind of thing and uh, I'm not afraid of cowards. I will say on the other hand that when it was announced after the election in 2020 that left-wing activists were gonna start targeting lawyers who had represented Donald Trump, that bothered me a lot. It didn't scare me, but it was the first time I felt that there was a direct threat to my ability to make a living being suggested. And in fact, it was in response to that that I made my first ever Twitter video. And Mike Cernovich had for years been urging me to use video, to use, to use the old Periscope on Twitter. He'd taken a post-election trip to Miami, Miami Beach, where I was having a best vacation I ever had in my life. And I just turned on the camera and started ranting about this, that if somebody, if anybody was going to try to come after Trump lawyers and harm our practices or harm or threaten our license because of the work we were doing, they had another thing coming. And that video went viral. That confirmed for me the idea that I probably should stop hiding you know, that light under a bushel in terms of my ability to come across on video as well.